more life, more vision, it's Motivation Friday. I'm your host, Joe Chege, back with your weekly dose of motivation. And today is a special one. I wanted to share with you a short story that I read a while ago about the value of life. I remember when I shared this with my son, we had a great conversation just breaking down uh, the real value of life and, 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 and it was a blessing to me and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the story, right? Let's dive into it. So the story goes that a man went to God and asked him, what is the value of life? And God gave him a stone and told him to figure out its value without selling it. So the man took the stone and went to the marketplace. He went to the orange seller and asked about its value. So when the orange seller saw the, the, the stone, he offered 12 oranges for it. The man just smiled and refused and told the seller that God asked him not to sell it. On he went to the vegetable seller and asked, what do you think the value of this stone is? The vegetable seller uh, looked at it and offered a sack of potatoes with which the man refused to. Then he proceeded down the road to the jewelry shop. Again, he asked the value of the stone. The jewelry seller looked at the stone. He was like, hmm, I'll offer you a hundred thousand, which the man refused. And again, like before, explained to him that God had told him not to sell the stone. In the end, he went to a precious stone shop and again asked the value of this shiny stone. The seller came out, saw the ruby, laid it down on a cloth, and then he touched his head and wondered for a second. And he told the man, I could never be able to purchase this ruby, even if I sold everything I owned in my life. So the man was confused because of that statement. He was stunned and he went back to God and explained what had happened to him. And so he asked God one more time, what is the value of life? To which God answered, the answer you got from the orange seller and the vegetable seller and the jeweler and the precious stone seller explains the value of life. You may be a precious stone, even priceless, but people may value you based on the level of information, their belief in you, their motive behind entertaining you, their ambition, and the risk-taking ability that you have. But don't fear, you will surely find someone who will discern your true value. Buzz. So when I finished that story, I remember talking to my son and I explained to him uh, a philosophy that I believe in that we are all unique that it's not our similarities but our differences that make us all unique like every single human being has a capability of becoming the greatest version of himself and the only thing that's gonna make you stand out is by how you value yourself i believe we all have something that the other person doesn't have and if you decide to focus entirely on refining what you have, refining the gift you have, refining the skills that you have, and making sure you stand out, making sure you, you are a trailblazer, making sure that you're not worried about what other people are doing, but you're entirely focused on refining and making your skill the best in the industry, you will definitely stand out. And the beauty of it is you, you don't have to have everything figured out. No, the most important part is just showing up every single day and working on refining your craft, working on refining your skill. This example is exemplified by, uh, I would say, athletes. When you, when you study them, when you watch documentaries or you study their life, you see their, their, their growth. It's like a curve. It's like the way the stock curve goes. Like they started at the bottom, they learned the tricks, they had a mentor, they had a coach. They made sure they were putting in the work, they were showing up for the exercises every single day, working out. 
sweating, like exercising like there's no tomorrow. But the one thing they never did was giving up. And guess what? As time goes on, they started winning. They started with small wins and then grew up. As time goes by, they were getting major wins. And at the end of it all, when you look at the MJ, when you look at uh, LeBron, when you look at all these major players or major athletes, Usain Bolt, at the end of it all, they stood out because they knew their true value. So, when you tap into your gift, when you tap into the gift that's in between your two ears, like, and, and actually figure out what you're meant to do in this world, and focus entirely on just becoming the best version of that, I, try, I, I promise you that you're going to be successful. And this is something that actually happened in my life. Every time I look at my progress as a designer, like where I started, I laugh sometimes. Like I go back to my old files and I'm like, oh my God, I can't even put this what uh, I can't even put this artwork out. But guess what? I enjoy because I, I'm able to look at the timeline from where I started like designing. Because I remember my first graphic designs, I used to do them with paint. Like I didn't even know. I'm a self-taught graphic designer. So I remember I used to go on, on my on my computer and open the paint page and just play around with like the text play around with the paints and then from there i learn more about like the the, the 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 graphic design softwares and i from there on i'm always refining and i'm always learning every single day i'm a student of the game like i'm not where i want to be yet but i'm grateful that i'm still progressing because i know i have value in me i know i have so much in me that needs to be put out there so I just want to encourage you that know your worth, know your true value of life. Don't let the markets define your value. Don't let uh, your, 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 your boss define your value. Don't let the, the position you're in in life right now define your true value because you have so much potential. I believe it's not how you start but how you finish this race that truly matters. So depending on where you are right now, as long as you don't feel like you are where you're supposed to be, if you're not at the peak of your, your, your performance, if you're not at the peak level of what you should be giving out to, to, to the people around you, then keep on doing you. Keep on grinding. Keep on refining and learning the skills that are going to enable you to step into the next level. You are great. Always believe that. You are meant to be great. You are meant to become the greatest version of yourself. So don't you ever settle for less like I always say. You are meant for greatness. So every single morning you wake up, ask yourself, am I really living to my truest potential? Am I really doing what I'm supposed to do to be able to stand on top of the hill because of the skill set that I have? Or am I just conforming to the ways of the world and just taking whatever each and everyone is offering me so i believe you have greatness in you you're not there yet but you're definitely gonna be able to accomplish that you're definitely gonna be able to get to where you're supposed to be as long as you're putting in the necessary work as long as you're willing to to exercise as long as you are willing to keep going and not giving up so I just wanted us to share this story together today because it was a it was a valuable lesson that I learned and at the end of the day once you know your true value in life you're never going to be the same. You are never going to be the same. You are a precious jewel like you are a ruby that is priceless that nobody can put a price on. So step out of your comfort zone, my brother. Step out of your comfort zone, my sister, and do what's necessary that's going to set you apart from anyone else because I know you have that in you. You are amazing, you are awesome, and you're going to continue being great in whatever you're doing. All right? Thank you for tuning in to the Motivation Friday segment. I'm your host, Joe Chege. I believe that you're going to continue building and working on your craft because you have great value in you. Don't settle for less. You're meant for greatness. Peace and blessings.